Welcome to Punk Satani, Pennsylvania, home to the world famous groundhog Punk Satani Phil, and not much else. Good Charlotte's about to roll into town to play a Fight for Your Rights concert in this sleepy little village, and they've agreed to give up their rock star lifestyle and crash with the Dobson family. For the next 48 hours, they're trading in their guitar picks for life in the sticks. Let's meet the Dobson, shall we? This is Dad Dobson, a.k.a. Mr. Fix-It. He's the manly man around this house. That's right, baby. Stir the butter. Actually, he's the only man around this house. This is Mama Dobson. She keeps her house clean and her twin daughters even cleaner. We try to have guidelines here for our girls. I don't want them smoking, I don't want drug use, and I don't want sex. These are the twins, Melissa and Mallory. Or is that Mallory and Melissa? <laughs> don't worry, it doesn't really matter. And then there's the Dobson firstborn, Jenna. People in town call her different, artistic. I was like, woohoo, all like... Mm -hmm. But the Dobson family simply calls her Cuckoo. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Hello? 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 This is Mallory. <laughs> oh, hey, what's going on? This is Benji. Hey, Benji. <laughs> hey, how's it going? How are you guys doing? That's good. Just hanging around the house? Yeah. Did you clean up? Yeah. <laughs> we're on our way, uh, and uh, we're excited. Uh, good, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're here. We're like job. bouncing up and down. Yay! That looks like Will Ferrell from here, just a couple years older. That high pitched shriek you hear means welcome. How are you? I'm Chris. Yeah, I'm dead. Time to get the lay of the land. We decided to give, our, uh, give up our beds to Good Charlotte because we figured that they're on tour, they're really tired, they haven't slept in a real bed for a real long time. Twins in the twins room, that'd be an easy way to do, how about? Dude, we, we're on the same wall as these, like, beautiful men. There's <laughs> two guys who have to sleep together in here. Whoever Taking gets the, the longest one. one gets to go by themselves. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh man. Paul gets Paul the room gets by himself. Up. Hey, we know what he's going to be doing. Oh. <laughs> hey, you, <laughs> well, what do you know? The hands on my watch say it's time for some good old-fashioned country fun. Around these parts, you have two options. Mudding. Mudding is if you go out and you go really fast in mud puddles and you get sick. And getting ready to go mudding. You guys ready? Of course. Now that Paul and Chris have customized the family mudmobile, it's time for her to take a spin. Ooh, this could get dirty. Lifestyles of the rich and famous, indeed. Back at the house, seems like the Dobsons are making the rest of the boys earn their keep. We're gonna go build a bonfire now. Look around, you can spread out, find some sticks laying in amongst the leaves that are kind of dry. Yeah, well, <laughs> like that tradition. Really, how long do you think you would last in Survivor? Uh, I don't know. Probably like five minutes. I just know I'd get voted off first. Do the kids fight over who gets to help you in the kitchen? No. Oh uh, man, when we were little, we always want to help my mom. Really? Because if you help mom, you get to lick the spoon. Oh, you guys weren't Boy Scouts? Yeah. I was a Weeblo and I beat the head, the, the uh, den guy, his son, in fifth grade. His name was Kevin. Well, he made fun of me and I hit him. Are you worried about the music they listen to? Yeah. You worry about what it does to them? Oh, yeah. yeah? My Absolutely. mom Absolutely. She ripped my rent. Brainwashing. Brainwashing. You think it is? Yeah, yeah I yeah. do think that. Looking at us, do you think we will seem like different than, like, I don't know, regular kids or something? You mean 
looking the way at we you. look or the way oh, like, you know I try to not stereotype and and think that they will be a certain way just because of the tattoos and the piercings and you know people telling me you want them to be staying in your home and near your daughters I was worried that we'd like freak you out or something no hmm? cool nobody that's in this room freaked me out all right cool <laughs> except for me Oh, well, looks like someone needs a hug. And a sensitive soul to listen to all her woes. What do you say, Benj? So, you're an outcast. I am, yeah. Do you I think am. any of this might have to do with your twin sisters getting a lot of attention? Whenever they were born, I was used to getting all the attention, and it was like, okay, Jenna, twins. Oh. The twins and I have our differences. You would have flipped out if you would have seen how I was a couple years ago. No, I was afraid to sleep in my own bed because I was afraid of ants. And it's funny now I can laugh at myself now because yeah. we have we had a little ant problem. Mm. Not like my ants, my relatives, you know, like the the, the insect. That's what right. I had problems with. Mm. And I was like, woohoo! I think Benji bit off a little more than he could chew. Let's just hope he saved some room for dinner. Mmm, steak. Say, Dad, can I get mine medium rare? <laughs> okay, burnt is fine. So you guys openly talk about sex and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, usually. Have you, have you, have you had the birds and the bees talk? I know, oh, like sometimes, yeah. Dude, I didn't figure it out until I was like probably 14. My mom said, if you have sex before you're married, you're going to go to hell. So now I'm going to hell. <laughs> you noticed uh, any um, attention issues with the oldest? Because these ones get a lot of attention? It's been hard for him. It's very hard. Your whole life? Yeah. I say in the long run, it makes you a stronger person than I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I say we start with bread, and then make a s'mores within the bread. What are you, what are you trying to get the bread? Ashes all over the bread. No, you don't put them in ashes. You do, you put them down. Hey there, twins. I'll take my mountain pie golden brown. Okay, burnt is fine. I told you it was done. <laughs> I told you it was done. That's, what is, that's not done. Put it in. Put it back in. Put the <laughs> back in. It's a beautiful pie. It's a Mmm, that's a nice good mountain pie. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? <laughs> Another successful event in Puxatawney, huh? Oh, man. oh God. It's 10 o'clock. Usually the band's getting off stage and getting ready to party. Not to worry, boys. With a house full of young people, something's bound to happen. It's time for the Dobsons to hit the sack, so why don't you guys go out, go to bed. Well, there's always tomorrow. And quite an interesting day of events. I'm going to bed, sleep it off. Forget about it. See you later. Hey, I know you're hey. tired, buddy. Are oh. you okay? Hey. hey. All right, hey. Well, uh, I'm going to put this crazy nut to bed, so uh, see you guys. Hot guys. I found no questions for us. <laughs> what were you like growing up? Have you always liked punk music? Well, that's not right. I'm not sure what you're doing. What was that <laughs> Look, he's got Benji makeup now. They all have Benji makeup. Ooh, don't cry, Mr. Abercrombie. That's good. <laughs> <laughs>